play, but you know it's Cam Beard. No matter where Steph Curry goes after basketball, Oakland will be a great exhibit in his heart's museum. Got the north, got the east, got the west with me. Good for Curry! Curry! The brilliance of Steph Curry on full display. He's our Clark Kent, man. Hold on, baby. What are they going to say now? We're back. You heard it, as Oakland legend Mr. Fab said, there is no debating that Stephen Curry's impact leaves him on Oakland's Mount Rushmore. But it may be his impact off of the court that will leave him as the town's hero. And along with his wife, Aisha, Steph has started his own charity impacting youth in the Bay Area and specifically in my hometown of Oakland. Eat, Learn, Play, it started in 2019 and it aims to end childhood hunger, ensuring that students have access to a quality education and providing safe places for all children to play and be active. And for more, our friend Mark Spears caught up with him at the third annual Workday Classic. I want to first uh, ask you, tell us where we are and what's going on today. We are here at uh, beautiful Stanford Golf Course, raising money and uh, putting on an amazing event to support Eat, Learn, Play. Me and my wife were able to start a foundation three years ago that's uh, wanting to impact Oakland and the greater Bay Area and be in the village for these kids and this next generation to hopefully provide the opportunity for them to you know, reach a full successful life and healthy nutritious meals, continue supportive literacy and uh, continue education and safe spaces and programming for their healthy active lifestyles. All those things matter and so it's great that golf can be a conduit to raising awareness and, and money for an amazing cause team moves, you guys could have moved on. Why have you guys stayed rooted in Oakland, stayed committed to Oakland? It's the loyalty to the family that we've known since since 09. And uh, the team's evolved and moved to San Francisco, but the, the, the history there, the support, the passion behind wanting to see us succeed on the court, like I want to be able to give that back. And my wife has felt that too. You know, with interaction that she's had with fans and, and people in the community and, and things like that. And you realize there are you know, massive needs uh, right in your backyard. And so to identify you know, what those needs were, listen to the community, understand where we could really uh, drive significant impact, Eat, Learn, Play was born. And you know, we have a lot to show for the work that we, we, we've done so far, but we know uh, this is a lifelong journey that we, we've, we've embarked on, and that's why I love this place so much, and hopefully you know, finishing my career here will be a big part of that. Did it with my brothers, manifested a dream and a, and a goal out of nothing once we started the season. It means the world. Shout out to Dub Nation for riding with us every single step of the way. It's a true dynasty right now, you know, four out of the last eight. And I finally got one of these bad boys. Fifth championship run. That sounds crazy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth they ain't really even sunk in yet, so I don't even know how to answer that. Just every journey's different, and this off season, it's about kind of regrouping and figuring out what it's going to take to do it again. So we understand how long that journey is, but I don't think till we like get the rings on ring night and get ready to start another 82 game schedule, will you? truly understand what we just accomplished and, and uh, be able to kind of move on. In three years, we've distributed over 25 million meals during the COVID-19 pandemic, provided hundreds of thousands of books and literacy grants to support teachers and local organizations, and created opportunities and safe places for all kids to play. What one message to this do you and your wife want to give kids of Oakland and just kids in general? Through the work that we're doing, we want them to truly believe that anything is possible. Uh, it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter what hurdles you, ha you, you have in front of you, whether they're, they're visual or not. It's about truly giving these kids an opportunity to see their best selves on a daily basis, to dream big, to have the resources at their disposal to put them in position to pursue whatever they want to in life. We want to give these kids just belief and excitement through the bare essentials that they should have uh, on a daily basis. 
I am now joined by the man who sat down with Steph Curry, our senior writer for Anscape, Mr. Marks. I don't think this panel has ever been more Oakland than it is right now. With <laughs> this in the background with us two sitting here. Yes. And that entire piece, it just so beautifully, to me, it was almost a love letter between Steph Curry and the city of Oakland. But one thing that stood out to me from a basketball perspective was that he said that he wants to finish his career in Oakland. Yeah. And that's something that's rare, I think, with the modern superstar. What more can you tell us about? that and Steph's relationship there. You know, Mr. Fab, the rapper we showed, he, he had a comment that didn't make the air, but he said, you know, if Steph were to put out a tweet saying that he was in trouble in Oakland, that 7,000 people would show <laughs> up to help. And, and I think the reason why Oakland loves him so much is their ability to touch him. Um, 25 million meals, like 25 million mm. to kids during the pandemic. He just shows up at women's shelters, food banks. And I was at an assignment uh, during the pandemic where he refurbished the court. And there was a, kids in the neighborhood, this East Oakland neighborhood, just kind of just heard he was there and they just started showing up, but he couldn't get close to him because of COVID. And he literally signed 100 basketballs and passed it to each kid, mm. one at a time, one at a time. So, you know, I think with him and Aisha, they're not only giving, but you know, you saw him at the A's game slapping kids' hands and just that's why they love him so much. When you look at his contract right now, it seems to be all, almost, not quite, but almost a foregone conclusion that he is yeah. going to finish his career with the in the Bay Area, in San Francisco with the Warriors. Do you think that will come to fruition? Yeah, I mean, I think he's one of them people like Larry Bird, Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowitzki that plays an entire career and gets whatever... <laughs> Like, he, he pays for himself and then fold. I, I think even when Curry's in his last days, uh, there'll be a lot of tears from Warriors fans. Yeah. Like, he is, to me, the most revered athlete ever, which is saying a lot for a place that has had Joe Montana and Jerry Rice and Ricky Henderson. He, he's the greatest ever. And so uh, I see him finishing his career there. I see him living in the Bay. And I see him impacting Oakland for, for many decades to come and perhaps bringing uh, – eat, work, play to other cities as well. Well, and it's remarkable considering the Warriors have moved to San Francisco, the relationship that he's kept with Oakland. As someone from Oakland, I can say that growing mm. up, oftentimes it was the forgotten city. Before it was next to Silicon Valley and the home of the Golden State Warriors, mm. it was, oh, you live sort of near San Francisco. And yeah. so to see that, uh, it, it's pretty remarkable for Steph Curry. Mark, please.